Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of TAC 22. Uh, we have 51st tonight on one side. and tactical 66 or G66 as I call it from now on on the other side and we're gonna have a pure air-to-air -air combat in the first half of the Match tonight. As you hear, I'm doing things and I'm still setting up things. So I need maybe 30 seconds uh, to set up things to get back to you. For now, we are waiting for the teams. The server is running at the moment. And what we do is uh, we're just waiting for the team to so just join. The server is paused. Um, so we're going to um, wait a little bit. Till everyone has joined and uh, taken aircrafts and ready to take off. And in meanwhile, I could get you a little bit of information on what is here being played for the ones who are not familiar with the ACES tournament. A short briefing is coming up soon. Okay, so as I said, we have 804 tonight. This is what 51st has chosen for the first round as they're flying blue and they're taking off from Vaziani. I'm uh, sorry, Tbilisi. And here's the team. The server is paused yet, so I can't do much at the moment. You see, we have rainy weather, uh, but at least we have daytime. The special thing about the ATO4 is that in the ATO4, we have um, a pure air-to-air -air match. And as I promised, we have 
a co-commentator tonight with me. And I'm very happy to welcome Alpha Visky with me together on microphone. Welcome, sir. Good. No worry, we have just started. Uh, so we're waiting for the server uh, to get unpaused. Absolutely. So I'm going to send you the password. You know where the server is. Sure. Okay. So we're just waiting for a server to get unpaused. We have 51st uh, on one side and uh, G66 on the other side. And sure, go ahead. Um, good questions. It's going to be tomorrow, I believe. I need to check on the schedule. Give me a sec. Yeah, Harpia and Sharpshooters. It's going to happen tomorrow, same time. 1930. It's also a beautiful match. Okay, and the server is running now, so it is on pause, so I can do a bit more than before. So we see the typical, um, let's say, choice of airframes on 51st side. Yeah. Flankers. Flankers forever. <laughs> yeah, this is this guy uh, ply, let's say, all the time. When not most of time, yeah. So we have five, uh, so six flankers there at the moment. So everybody is locked in. And we take the other side. For sure, we focus on the blue side for the takeoff and everything because these guys are the ones who want to take the points home. And on the G66 side, we have one of 15. We have Jeff or JF-17, we have F-16, we have F-18, we have everything but Flanker. This is at 4 exactly. Um, the blue side is going to take off from uh, Tbilisi and the red side from Sukhumi. And they're going to probably meet each other somewhere here on the map. We have no air to ground. So it's a pure air to air. Either it was chance that we just picked those, right? <laughs> and I I know that some some stuff changed uh, between the second and third version of the missions. I'm not sure.
Yep. Oh, they're also 51st guys are also taking two yeah. uh, tier trees, which I oh, guess are gonna guys like are you know two, yeah. uh, um trees, you know um I guess are gonna tier tree like to me is like you know two, is more like an inventory um, of missiles. Yeah, um, tier tree to me is like you know is more like an inventory. Hmm. Um. Okay. Thanks. Ape Man, if I've pronounced correctly, for the heads up with the audio, I'm I'm the worst guy with audio. I'm a disaster. So Alpha, what do you think? Um, we have AVAX here for sure, but we have bad weather. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. What I think is, um, I don't know, like, you know, uh, G66 guys are taking, like, you know, 2 GF-17s and 3 F-16s, uh, and also 1 F-15, it, it kind of shatters, like, you know, the, the, the data link between them. While, on the other hand, um, I assume 51st guys are gonna, you know, have a much better, like, you know, data link between themselves although like you know the, the, the russian data link in dcs doesn't provide as much as like you know link 16 does but you know at least they know where everybody is yeah they can for sure exchange more data yeah uh they have also add-ons uh with gps and everything um as far as i know which help them to find the themselves and provide better situational awareness um yeah. and this is for sure when the weather is not good i think flanker is super good say yeah. exactly because they usually use other uh factors to coordinate this, themselves to build up uh, situational awareness and also to attack the enemy um yeah, on the other good. hand most of let's say NATO airframes uh, need, or at least are doing better when the weather is good, when they can see the target from 10 nautical miles or something and use their AMRAMs. But on this side, we have also deadly missiles who go behind the 10 nautical mile activation zone of uh, aim 120s, right? So looking yeah. at a loadout, um, you're the boss, you're the expert here. We see here ETs, ERs, um, archers, and everything. So, uh, quite deadly, right? Yeah, yeah, quite deadly. Because, uh, yeah, just as you said, um, those those infrareds are gonna come very, very handy. Like, you know, um, it, it is something that you know, I know, but uh, one of the effective ways, you know, to kind of, uh, uh, you know, counterattack the. ETs and stuff like that um, is to like you know make as many radio calls as you can like you know, every single time you see a smoke in the air you, you, you gotta you know call it and you gotta have a pretty pretty um collected way of communicating so you know one would know uh what the other one uh is actually seeing so yeah um the bad weather is gonna play in the hands of uh, 51st more than um, G66, uh, G66 guys, and also the data link. Uh, I think uh, 51st guys are gonna have the advantage. Yeah, and we know that they are very dangerous. Yeah, yeah, they, they fly flank with those good. flankers. So we are following these guys, as I said, just not because we are a 51st fan. We are just following their guys' view just because they are on the blue side. And when you know this is the blue side, which is going to collect points in this kind of match. So they can collect takeoff points. Am I right? And this way we just focus 
on those guys for takeoff at least to see how they do that we had a very beautiful takeoff last time i really enjoyed it from the runway and um i believe that we're going to see a similar one this time it's going to be a master class Let's see a good view for you guys. Clouds are looking amazing. Um, yeah, this is. Let, let us see here. I have everything set to high. Everything which I could find. Mm -hmm. So we see here the glare on the AVAX radar. Uh, the clouds. I'm not sure if they're moving, but at least they are looking not bad. Yeah. So 2.8 was all honestly a huge change. Was a huge change, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, no, not, not in terms of performance, but, um, you know, this is has definitely got more beautiful. <laughs> 2.8 mm -hmm. okay yeah yeah absolutely um so we need to wait and see i, I haven't seen those clouds moving yet to yeah, be honest. Same. yeah um so i'm quite curious i guess that's for like you know the the dynamic weather like it's not gonna happen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's static weather. So what we have here is that the clouds are quite low. I see we uh, the G66 needs another one minute uh, while 51st is ready. So at any point of time, we're going to start. Okay, well, both sides are ready. So I expect uh, the go, go, go. Yeah, at, I'm gonna any seconds. Okay, let's go. First two sheep is rolling. Yeah, position lights are on, you know, bad weather. As long as you fly under the clouds, uh, you're going to have this problem. Look at the takeoff and enjoy. What counts as formation takeoff is when at least two aircrafts lose the contact with the ground within two seconds. What these guys did prominently. The next two. Beautiful. And we have the last pair. Thirty trees. Of Sukhoi 33s. I think I saw also 27, if I'm not wrong. And J11. We need to check on that. Uh, no, no, no. They, it, was, no? it is only 27s and 33s. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. A little bit under power, I think. The burners goes on. The lamps went on. For short, okay. Let's get back to the to the map. Um, just activate the label so we can see that. So we have two Sukhoi thirty three, and here we have, as you said, four oh, Sukhoi twenty sevens. Oh, uh, let me take it. Oh, oh what happened, to Frosty? Oh, I think flame out something. Could it be? I don't know. At the time of takeoff? No idea. I didn't see it. Uh, what what do the rules say? Can he take okay. another oh, aircraft yeah. and take off? Because I, I didn't see he lost the contact to the airfield. 
So I don't know how, what the rules are, but we hope the best. Yeah, he's taking another airframe and he's yeah, gonna. He can take it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, good, good. But so why? His colleagues did... gonna, yeah, yeah, his colleagues gonna take some time. Like you know, they they gotta buy some time for him because. Um, yeah, what they do is. Yeah, he has only 10 minutes to enter to the bubble. Yeah, yeah, that's why they're not going into the bubble directly. Yeah, uh, they're going in a pattern around Tbilisi Lucini uh, just to give him time to take off because you know the rules. Explain us, please. Yeah, um, the rules for the case of a disconnect or respawn is that you, un unless you haven't entered the bubble, um, You've got the chance to respawn again, but um, if even one of, if any of your teammates has entered the bubble, you have only ten minutes to, um, you know, enter the bubble again. You know, to take your aircraft, take off, and enter the bubble again. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's the reason um, Fifty First guys are doing the orbits. I mean, um, he couldn't have done it because. Um, they couldn't have done it because um, I think he's still safe. Like you know, even if they were to you know, uh, continue flying straight, um, Frosty would have still had the time. You know, it's it's ten minutes. It's a lot of time. Yeah, from the other side, there is no such rule which says if the red side now, um, because there uh, is there a bubble at all. Stupid question. There is a bubble, right? Yeah, there so, is a bubble. So, yeah. but there is no rule which says if the red sides take the control over the bubble for let's say five minutes, then the run mm -hmm. is lost, right? Um, honestly, I don't know about that. But because this is this is also uh, this I is also there is one I one way. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so this is is important. The the blue side has not. All the time of the world, right? Yeah, of course. They need to enter bubble at some point of time, and I don't know how long Frosty needs. Okay, Frosty is in the air. We have him. Okay, this yep. time the takeoff worked. This will probably irritate the G sixty six, right? Because they just take off. Um, there is AVAX, but I don't know if the AVAX uh, give them information from that. Because there's about 200 nautical miles between two airfields. And mm -hmm. the, um, I'm not sure if the AVAX has the line of sight and the reach and the range to just give data here. So probably these guys thinking, where are the other side doing? Yeah, or what are they doing? Where are they? It's going to be a little bit maybe, um, yeah irritating for this side i think they kind of showed it they, they showed some sort of reaction to that because i saw one of their f-16s kind of going cold and also a bit later bounty mm -hmm. and it's jf-17 uh going cold again it's like you know um they are trying to you know um take it as slow as it can be because they know it's probably gonna you know uh gonna take a bit for 51st yeah. guys and they, and, they, and they just don't want to find themselves yeah you know facing a whole different situation yeah but we didn't have any crash report so they couldn't read in the chat uh they just can read that yeah. frosty has just occupied an airframe and in the chat yeah. but not the disconnect so i think that they went and just uh set through what they have planned to probably so we have here the yeah. Da Vinci with JF-17 with four SD-10s and two PO-5s. He is the tip of the spear, followed by another JF-17. Same armament. Then we have on the left side the F-16s with the six MRAM. So we have unlimited armaments of choice for this round. So you can take as many as missiles you want with you. No limitation 
in the missile types and the number. Uh, and here is definitely F-18, a king with 12 missiles that she can carry. So here we have a beautiful four ship. A 51st. In a very close formation. Beautiful. With those contrails. One of the interesting things is that um, is, is Praniac, if I'm uh, saying it right, in his F-15 and he's up to um, just 43 at this point. He's taking all the AMRAMs in the world and um, it's going to be quite exciting to see what he can do because I believe um, he's, got, he's got quite a potential to, um, you know, to, to kind of counterattack the um, the classic, the typical um, 51st plan, 51st mm -hmm. tactic. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that that's gonna be quite interesting. And he and he's pretty much like you know off. He's pretty much like you know um, far away from the like you know, the main structure. But he's yeah. kind of kind of seems to be rejoining. Yeah, 15 definitely um, takes also um, eight missiles. Eight Fox trees, um, not as many as F-18 can, but the advantage is very powerful engines. You can fly very high and very fast, and then dive down. Especially when you have no AVAX, could be deadly uh, because you can either way communicate with the uh, Link 16, as it is a FC3 module. Um, when there is AVAX, well. A little bit of difficult to just communicate why data link with the other aircrafts, but this is a very, very deadly weapon F 16. So we have here a kind of box, or let's say two, three ships on each side um, flying in a trail, or at least they want to build a trail, I assume. And now and the hard. battle area is contested. So yeah. blue has a little bit of delay, means that they are on the corner of the bubble. I'm asking myself why I'm not seeing the bubble here. You cannot see it on the F team. Yeah, I think we can't see it. Yeah, it's a pity. Um, but there is a bubble here, guys, believe me, even though you can't see it. Um, so we get the message that the um, area is contested means that okay, from every side point. one single airplane is in the bubble. So let's take this R27ERs to see how it's doing. You see the opponent aircraft has just recognized that the missile is on him. He went into the dive. You see the contrail. And if you get closer, you see also the dot flying away, and he's safe. Uh, this missile helped, I think, which is, I think, quite slow now. Helped that the blue side takes a little bit of, or let's say, buy a little bit of space and time to enter to the bubble. The next R27 goes the same way, but red button is already cold, and this is not going to harm him. Break shot sends another 27 er on the way but these are yeah for nothing i would say um going nowhere with that they just made to just gain as much ground as possible to let frosty and baron and the other two flankers enter the bubble and cover The two JF-17s in the south, they uh, they gotta uh, turn north as quick as they can. Or it's gonna be baby. It's quite. It's gonna be a quite complicated situation over there. 
Okay, let's do a little bit different. Let's take break shot here. And go into... Tack view split screen. Where we can Probably see a little bit more. That. Probably look at that. It's ST10 versus 27 ER. Are gonna be quite interesting. Oh, down there. Yeah. Let's see. It's Brook Shot versus Bounty. So it's coming with 2.2 mock on Brick Shot, but Brick Shot has beautifully notched it. Well done. Well done. So up there we have here a missile which is doing nothing actually because it's fired on the cold target we see here lots of missile getting fired uh by 51st so they're not saving at all look at that yeah i mean they have the advantage like in that regard so there's not much of a reason uh, for them to you know saving yeah, but but they they are also no F eighteen with with twelve missiles. Um, um, yeah. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, but like you know, um, the opponent is just F 16s and JF seventeen, so uh, it's a still you know a you know quite big advantage for them. The the, the interesting thing that I'm seeing here is that you know, the, the, the the dynamic in what uh, G sixty six is doing has drastically changed in the last few minutes it was like you know four of them up in the north and two of them down in the south but uh, it's it's their opposite at this point it's four of them in the south and two of them in the north and um look look at the break shot doing the flank and that's gonna be very very dangerous for g66 guys if he gets to do it yeah look he has beautifully Dodge that missile. The other missile is going nowhere. Oh, first he has take one down. Yeah, first he has taken the F-15 down from G-66. Oh, such a shame. Oh, uh, you mean a friendly kill? No, no, no. It, um, first he from 51st has... Ah, okay, yeah, 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 got that. So things are happening very fast here. We have the ER. One ER went into the ground. The other one is flying. Let's see if it has the stamina. I don't think so. A bounty need to pull a little bit of G. 1.2 Gs are not enough. And R27 is not really a dragful missile. You see how fast it flies. But at the end, he's safe. What is the state of the missiles? I'm asking myself. Rufy's took, um, oh, so, sorry, Red Button took Rufy's down. And then Kali has taken Da Vinci down. So yeah, it's, oh, it's, everything it's happening very fast. went very fast. So here we have one missile, 27 goes off the rail here. Let's see if it can harm G66 in any way. Through the clouds. That's very dangerous. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Got him. So here we have a 3-4-V-3 situation here. I think the next one's going to go off from Kali's side. We see the other airplane wreckage falling from the sky. Kali has the lock, I believe, through the clouds. But not the best view. I don't he misses. So. I think misses yeah, through the air. He passed him. Yeah. And now but he's turning really back. The decision on Brickshot is very juicy. Yeah. Let's take him. Uh, what's going to happen? No, it's not going to make it. It's not going to make it. It's a hell of a match, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. Let me turn on the uh, volume a little bit. Here. Oh, okay. Here is an SC10 on Kali. And yeah, B Bounty got uh, to Kali down. Opa is shooting a... And here, Frosty's down. Frosty's down. Yeah, Frosty's down. Kali here we have down. Bounty 
Bounty and is head on. Reach is also down. Look at this head on situation. The, 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 the missiles go off the rail quite at the same time. Flares go out. Who is oh, shoot. victorious here? JF 17 is down. And Breakshot yeah. made it's a two to just now. flare out that one. So let's get Breakshot. Which is also in one we want situation here. Look at the weather. I don't want to fly in that weather, to be honest. Okay, here is the one twenty C from Opa. It goes off. It's gonna take him down. Yeah. And it's gonna be a down, yeah. Wow. That, Afraid, that was I a think. shocker. That, that was a shocker. Oh, uh, Traded. Or yeah. or we lost him to the Skirtles. No, no, I don't no, know. No, he, he no, no, that was okay. Trade. That was that I was wasn't watching. From... Okay. Yeah. So we have one guy standing from yeah. the G sixty six. Very, cool. very, very remarkable performance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. To be honest. That that, that, that was quite a shocker. That that was quite that a was, shocker. Yeah. I was I didn't expect that. Was that the delay f for the blue side? No, I, I don't really think The so. reason behind that I were really the number of the missiles that 51st fired early on, but they were not Winchester till the end, right? So well, difficult to was say. Actually, no, no, difficult to say. Was actually out of missiles, but yeah, it's, it's not that much of a factor, to be honest. But... Great job, great job by G sixty six guys. Yeah. Okay, so practically red button doesn't need to take it back home, so I gotta go and So we're gonna talk server. talk a little bit about yeah, while you're doing this, uh guys we need to restart the server. Um and also restart here. Uh we sent you for a short break of five minutes. Um, to the video, uh, grab whatever you like, come back, we're going to start in five minutes with the new ATO and we're going to explain a little bit more what the, the other ATO is and maybe do a debriefing of what's happened during the first round and what's the idea. Write us in the chat, what do you think, why G66 uh, made to take down all the six flankers in this round. I'm pretty much uh, interested to know your opinion. So stay with us. We're going to come back in five minutes. Stay tuned. <laughs> 